Hey everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So this video is about uh, classification of amino acids. So you can take a look at my amino acid video down there in the description. So I will just give you uh, names of amino acids in uh, different classification here. Uh, essential amino acids are the ones that we need to take them in our diet because we simply cannot synthesize them in our body. So what are those essential amino acids? Essential amino acids can be remembered as uh, TV till PM. This is the mnemonic. So TV till uh, PM. So this is uh, T for threonine, amino acid threonine, that is T. Uh, v for valine, another T for tryptophan. Uh, I for isoleucine, L for leucine, another L for lysine, and P for phenylalanine and uh, M for methionine. So this is what is, uh, these are the essential amino acids. That is uh, uh, threonine, valine, tryptophan, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, phenylalanine and methionine. So all these are essential amino acids. Some of the amino acids that we can synthesize in our body to a certain extent but whenever there is a positive nitrogen balance, uh, these amino acids need to be supplemented in our diet and those, uh, this kind of amino acids are referred as semi-essential amino acids. So semi-essential amino acids are basically they are uh, histidine and then arginine and then we have uh, cysteine, cysteine is a semi-essential amino acid and uh, tyrosine. Tyrosine is a semi-essential amino acid. So these are uh, semi-essential amino acids and uh, essential amino acid you can rem uh, remember them as TV till PM. Now uh, based on the side chain of amino acids, so we can also classify amino acids into hydrophobic amino acids and hydrophilic amino acids. Now the hydrophobic amino acids, these, uh, they cannot interact with water because the side chains, they cannot make hydrogen bonds with the water. So those uh, hydrophobic amino acids, uh, they can be remembered as uh, PIMP GAL TB. So the PIMP GAL TB here, so P for phenylalanine, so that's what is P here, phenylalanine, I for isoleucine, M for methionine, P for proline, uh, G for glycine, A for alanine, L for uh, leucine, T for tryptophan and uh, V for valine. So that is what is uh, PIMP gal TV. That's a mnemonic. So these are all hydrophobic amino acids. That is the phenylalanine, isoleucine, methionine, proline, glycine, alanine, leucine, tryptophan and valine. So if you remember hydrophobic amino acid, so you can you you know which all are hydrophilic amino acids because uh, anything other than hydrophobic amino acids, all the rest of the amino acids will be hydrophilic amino acids. So out of twenty amino acids, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine amino acids are hydrophobic amino acids. Now within the amino acid or hydrophilic amino acids, we have uh, two amino acids which are sulfur containing and they are cysteine and methionine. Then we have three amino acids uh, which are uh, uh, water, uh, sorry, hydroxyl containing amino acids and they are tyrosine, serine and uh, threonine. There are two acidic amino acids and those are uh, aspartate and glutamate and there are three basic amino acids. They are leucine, uh, sorry, they are arginine, lysine and uh, histidine. So these are all uh, in brief, this is in brief about uh, some of the mnemonics that we use in remembering different types of amino acids. I hope this video has helped you in uh, understanding or uh, to memorize or to remember or to how to remember uh, different types of or different categories of amino acids. Thanks for watching.